So this is a video on another category of market structure. And this market structure is called oligopoly. And this uh, market structure category is special. And we're going to be going over that in a bit. And again, when we talk about market structure, we're trying to measure market power. And market power is simply the influence on market price. So can a firm impact the market price? And the way they impact market price is by increasing or decreasing their supply. If they control enough of the market uh, share of the overall market, they can shift the market supply curve. If the market supply curve shifts, the equilibrium price changes, that's market power. Now, um, so we classify firms into specific market structures. Like we said, we've got... Um, uh, market structure looks like this. At one end of the spectrum, we have perfect competition. At the end, other end of the spectrum, we have a monopoly. And this, again, measures uh, the level of competition. When we move this way, when industries move this way, competition increases. I don't know why it always does that. Get rid of that. It increases. And when it moves this way, it decreases. Um, also, if we're, if we're uh, so if you look at the industry, if an industry's position is right there, that says something about the level of competition. And any industry that is to the right of perfect competition has some degree of market power. So uh, we, we classify these uh, industries that have some degree of market power, we say that it's imperfect competition, right? And why do we say imperfect competition? Well, again, here we have perfect competition and we have monopoly. Industries that fall here, that's perfect competition. Industries that fall here, that's no competition. Everything in the middle is some degree of imperfect competition. In an oligopoly, is just that an oligopoly the textbook says that oligopoly is right around here but basically any firm excuse me any industry that is in this area right here is considered to be oligopolistic and that's an industry where there's three or four large firms in terms of market share and they have a great degree of market power now there are three things that make oligopoly special. One, um, it is uh, common. Um, there are many industries that are considered to be oligopolistic, so it's realistic. Two, uh, interdependency. Interdependency. Interdependency means one firm's action, let's say this is one firm's action impacts other people, other firms, and that causes a reaction, and they do something to react. Uh, so interdependent. Now, why is this important? Well, keep in mind, when, when we were talking about perfect competition, and monopoly. In perfect competition, if one firm made a competitive move, nobody noticed. That's because every firm is very, very small and has no market power. So you can see how there was no reaction. If you do something and nobody notices, no one's going to react. Here, when one firm did something, nobody reacted because there are no other firms in a monopoly market structure. So you could see how there was no interdependency with industries that are perfectly competitive and uh, monopolistic. With industries that fall somewhere over here, one firm that does something will cause a reaction by other firms. This is important because this really complicates things in terms of strategy. When you do something, a competitive move, you're, you're going to try to figure out what are the, uh, the benefits from that move. 
with this type of interdependency, you cannot be certain as to the outcome of your actions because you don't really know precisely what your rivals will do in reaction. So this creates a great deal of uncertainty in oligopolistic industries. And the third thing that makes uh, oligopoly uh, special, price and output, that's, I'm sorry, that's, that's supposed to be a O, not a Q. Price and output are more stable. Um, they don't change as much in this, in this particular um, industry, market structure, than indus industries that are perfectly competitive or monopolistic. And we'll be going over that. So, But I just wanted to give you an idea that there are three things that really make uh, oligopoly special. One, they're more realistic. Two, uh, interdependency, which complicates strategy. And three, price and output don't change that much compared to industries that are perfectly competitive and uh, monopolistic. So in, the, in a particular textbook, they'll usually give you characteristics of market structures. So you could see for, uh, uh, market structures that are perfectly competitive. Well, the the, the number of firms, very large, easy to get into, uh, no market power, and the type of product is standardized or it's homogenous, it's the same. Now, monopolistic competition, keep in mind, monopolistic competition is not a monopoly. When you look at categories of market structure, perfect competition is here, monopoly is here, monopolistic competition is right here. This confuses people because people confuse monopolistic competition with monopoly. You, you could see monopolistic market structure, monopolistic competition market structure is closer to perfect competition than it is to monopoly. So just be aware of that. Now look at oligopoly. Oligopoly is over here, right? And the, a number of textbooks have certain things incorrect. For example, number of firms. They uh, most textbooks lists few firms. That's not true. There can be as many firms in an oligopoly market structure as there are in perfect competition. What this means is there are a few firms who control most of the market supply. So let's say uh, look at the market as a pizza. Uh, you could say three or four firms. This is firm one. This is firm two. Firm two firm three, and firm four. They control this much of the market right here. The rest of the market is controlled by many, could be many, many firms. In other words, they have really teeny, teeny market shares. So there could be thousands of firms in an oligopolistic industry, but three or four control most of the market. And Duopoly, again, that is, there's perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, duopoly is right here. Duopoly is two firms control all of the market, and then monopoly here. Now, what gives a firm, or yeah, a firm market power? Well, um, if there are fewer firms in the industry, that means any individual firm controls more of the market supply, which gives them the ability to influence market price, which is market power. Um, again, the bigger you are in terms of market share, the more market power you have. And if you have the ability of keeping firms out of the industry, you could attain market power. Um, and again, this, these two are kind of connected, right? number of producers and availability of substitutes. If there are a few substitutes out there, uh, that means there are a few firms that are uh, in the market you, have market, you have more market power. And so market power can go up, market power can come down. Uh, fewer firms in the, uh, the fewer the number of the firms in the market, uh, you have more market power. So think about this. If you have 
this market structure spectrum right here. And let's say your firm is right, your firm's industry is located right here. If firms leave the industry, that means there's less competition. That means your firm's market structure, your industry's market structure changes. And that means the, the remaining firms have more market power. So when you think about it, barriers to entry determine the to what extent the market is contestable. Now contestable means another way it's competitive or the ability of firms to enter the market. Um, a firm is contestable, an industry is contestable when uh, there are low barriers to entry and firms can hop into the market. Uh, it's not contestable when you've got high barriers to entry and it's very difficult for firms to come in. Now, in the next video, we're going to be going over how do we actually measure market power? How do we, for example, if you have a market structure spectrum that looks like this, right? Perfect competition, monopoly. Let's say we place your firm's industry right here. Well, guess what? We're going to be able to give that some sort of score. Um, and we're going to have a range uh, from, you know, high competition to low competition. And that's what we're going to be covering uh, next video.